Hi, I'm Dave from AutoZone, and today we're gonna to talk about brake systems. When it comes to driving safety, nothing is more critical than your brakes. There are two types of passenger vehicle brake systems, disc brakes and drum brakes. Disc and drum brakes are both based on a hydraulic pressure system, which generates a much bigger force than the small amount of effort to press down the pedal. The system starts with mechanical force when you push on the brake pedal. Then, a piston compresses brake fluid inside the master cylinder, creating hydraulic pressure. This hydraulic pressure is transferred via the brake fluid through the brake lines that connect with the brake assemblies at each wheel. Caliper pistons, or wheel cylinders, then convert this hydraulic pressure back into mechanical force. Disc brakes are found on most vehicles today, mounted on the front axle and often on the rear as well. Disc brakes use a caliper fitting with brake pads to grab a spinning disc or rotor. Consists of caliper assembly, brake pads, rotors. There are two types of disc brakes, fixed and floating. Fixed is less common. Here the caliper doesn't move when the brakes are applied. Only the piston or pistons move, pressing the brake pad against the rotor. Floating or sliding is the more common type. Since the piston or pistons are only on one side when the brakes are applied, the caliper itself slides inward, forcing pads against the rotor. Drum brakes are an older, less common style of brakes, only used on the rear axle of cars. They don't use brake pads as the friction material. Instead of a caliper that clamps brake pads against a rotor, a drum brake system has a wheel cylinder with pistons that push brake shoes out against the inside of a spinning drum. So which one is better? While they both operate with the same basic hydraulics, they perform differently. Disc brakes are more efficient, provide better stopping power, dissipate heat easier, and work better in wet conditions. Most cars use disc brakes, while some use drum brakes in the rear to keep costs down. Drum brakes are easier to add a parking brake to and are less expensive to replace, but are prone to grabbing, require cleaning, and retain heat that reduces braking force. And for more information, be sure to like and subscribe.